Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Trump administration announces drone integration pilot program. Vanilla Aircraft's VA-001 UAS completes five-day flight, and AAVSI analyzes Trump administration integration program. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AEVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. President Trump has directed SecTrans Elaine Chow to launch an initiative to safely test and validate advanced operations for drones in partnership with state and local governments in select jurisdictions. The UAS Integration Pilot Program implements a directive signed by the President, and the results will be used to accelerate the safe integration UAS into the national airspace and to realize the benefits of unmanned technology in our economy. The program will help tackle the most significant challenges in integrating drones into the national airspace while reducing risk to public safety and security. The program is designed to provide regulatory certainty and stability to local governments and communities, UAS owners and operators who are accepted into the program. In less than a decade, the potential economic benefit of integrated unmanned aerial systems into the nation's airspace is estimated to equal up to $82 billion and create up to 100,000 jobs. The program will help the DOT and FAA develop a regulatory framework that will allow more complex low-altitude operations, identify ways to balance local and national interests, improve communications with local, state, and tribal jurisdictions, address security and privacy risk, and accelerate the approval of operations that currently require special authorizations. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The new Air Alliance has hired Major General Mark F. Hood Gibson as its new Chief Executive Officer. Gibson most recently served as Senior Advisor on Unmanned Aircraft Systems Integration to Deputy Administrator of the FAA. He begins November 13th and will oversee the organization's efforts to safely integrate UAS into the national airspace system. Delphi Automotive has signed an agreement to acquire Newtonomy Incorporated for a total of $450 million. Through the acquisition, Newtonomy will help accelerate Delphi's commercialization of autonomous driving and automated mobility on demand technologies for automakers and new mobility customers across the globe. Our mission has always been to radically improve the safety, efficiency, and accessibility of transportation worldwide, says Newtonomy co-founder and CEO Carl Yanyama. The 386 Air Expeditionary Wing successfully completed its first combat mission with the latest version of the MQ-9 Reaper in support of Operation Inherent Resolve. The wing's remotely piloted aircraft unit, the 46th Expeditionary Attack Squadron, transitioned its attack and reconnaissance airframes from the MQ-1B Predator to the Block 5 MQ-9A Reaper. Captain Jason, the 46th EATKS commander, noted that RPAs are used to develop targets, find and track high-value individuals, protect friendly forces, and complete the mission of finding, fixing, tracking, targeting, engaging, and assessing. Measure has formed a new division to service the arts and entertainment industry, Measure Media. M2 operates the first nationwide network of full-time drone pilots specializing in meeting the airborne storytelling needs of both small screen and big screen projects. M2 operated in stealth mode for its first two months and already counts ESPN, ABC, CBS, Coach Rihanna, Fenty Puma, Cartier, and others among its customers. Avidrone Aerospace Incorporated has secured investment and formed a business alliance with Japanese professional drone manufacturer ProDrone. The companies will manufacture innovative UAV aircraft and custom autopilot systems through specially developed industrial autopilot system and drone designs. Their products will have the unique capacity to transport items weighing between 0.5 0.5 kilograms to over 250 kilograms at speeds approaching 
108 knots. That was our unmanned minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Vanilla Aircraft's VA-001 UAS recently completed a notable flight, flying for a little over five days for a total of 121.4 hours. After taking off on October 18th from the NASA Wallets Flight Facility, the UAS began its long endurance test flight and landed safely 5.1 days later, with three days of fuel remaining on board. The vanilla aircraft VA-001 is capable of carrying payloads up to 50 pounds and 1.1 cubic feet volume. It can also supply up to 800 watts to the payload bay. For the military, the aircraft's payload bay can support a variety of militarized payloads like electro-optical infrared imagers, a synthetic aperture radar, and SIGINT systems. While commercially, the UAS can be used for mapping emergency 4G cellular networks, and airborne internet distribution. Aside from its many potential uses, the UAS also has a simple design, which allows for lower maintenance costs, ultimately resulting in a lower operating cost. Back in February 2015, the vanilla aircraft VA-001 completed its first autonomous flight. Each flight since then has further proved design of the aircraft and expanded the flight envelope, and every flight has landed safely upon its conclusion. Brian Wind, AUVSI's president and CEO, has issued the following initial analysis on the announcement by the White House of an Unmanned Aircraft Systems Integration Pilot Program. The creation of this pilot program represents an opportunity for state, local, and tribal governments, along with the UAS industry, to collaborate with the FAA to further develop a federal policy framework for integrating UAS into the skies above communities across the nation. More and more businesses are embracing UAS to expand and enhance their product and service offerings. This growing demand illustrates a new renaissance in aviation and technology, which will require sustained collaboration and support by government at all levels. The pilot program will offer a data-driven approach to allow for expanded UAS operations, including beyond the line of sight and UAS traffic management concepts. It will also provide a mechanism for state, local, and tribal officials to contribute their views to the UAS policy framework without infringing on the U.S. government's jurisdiction over the national airspace. Maintaining federal authority of the airspace will help foster innovation and allow states, municipalities, and tribes to tap into the full potential of UAS, while continuing to keep our skies safe. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.